Of the latest excitement revolves around a rumored launch date for SpaceX's Flight 5, but the FAA may have shut it down. Or is this simply the FAA dragging its feet again? After what seems like an eternity of delays, ULA is finally preparing to launch its second Vulcan rocket, a mission critical to its future. While SpaceX's Falcon 9 is making progress, it is currently in a holding pattern awaiting the FAA's approval. So much is going on at once, let's break it down in today's episode. SpaceX's Flight 5 launch date has sparked controversy. Initially, the FAA suggested we could have to wait nearly two months, but a surprising twist has emerged. A new hazardous space operations alert for the Gulf of Mexico implies that an earlier date may be on the way. The place to observe is Boca Chica, Texas, with a probable primary launch date of October 12th, 2024. Backup dates range from October 13th to 19th, giving us a week-long launch window. These advisories are usually reliable indicators agencies don't just send out marine operation alerts for no reason. What makes this even more exciting? Preparations are almost complete. The orbital launch mount and tower systems have undergone upgrades and tests. Both rocket stages are ready with integration testing wrapped up. All signs point to SpaceX being on track to kick off the wet dress rehearsal and final system installation soon if these dates stick. Could this earlier launch become a reality? We'll just have to wait and see, but things are heating up fast. While current discussions suggest that SpaceX's Flight 5 will launch in October, the FAA has yet to confirm these dates. Until the FAA grants the go-ahead, the launch remains in limbo. According to a source, the FAA is adhering to its original timeframe, intending to make a decision by November 9th. According to the FAA, SpaceX's current license allows many flights, but the changes for Flight 5 necessitate a more thorough evaluation. In August, SpaceX provided updated environmental impact data, this time encompassing a greater area than previously examined. That means the FAA must engage with other agencies, extending the clearance process even further. Flight 5 must meet all safety, environmental and licensing standards before it is permitted for departure. The FAA has made it clear that no decision will be made before late November. This delay has dashed many hopes and frustrated fans of the Starship program. Despite mounting criticism, the FAA is showing no signs of rushing the process. Could there be a surprise twist? Maybe. But for now, we might have to wait until November. The latest news about SpaceX's Flight 5 is fantastic, but it's not an official FAA announcement. The FAA could just be slow to update its public information, as is frequently the case. They could issue a fresh update anytime now. Is there another possibility? SpaceX may stick to the same mission profile as their previous flight. The FAA has stated that if SpaceX's plans do not change significantly, they will most likely allow the launch. But after all of the preparation, will SpaceX really abandon their aim of grabbing the super heavy booster with the famed Mechazilla arm? That seems unlikely. Hmm. While these are the most positive alternatives, a postponement until November is more likely. What do you think? Could Starship take off sooner? Meanwhile, over at ULA, the company is bracing for a crucial moment with the Vulcan rocket's second flight. After a series of frustrating delays caused by technical setbacks, ULA is finally ready for liftoff aiming for a 6 a.m. EDT launch on October 4th. On September 21st, the United Launch Alliance accomplished a critical milestone by fully stacking the Vulcan rocket, just days later. On September 30th, the rocket arrived at the SLC-41 launch site. Following that, ULA conducted the critical wet dress rehearsal, which was an important part of the final countdown to launch, and concluded with the detanking process late that evening. Corey Bruno, CEO of ULA, celebrated the successful day by verifying the results. Detanking just about done, a good day of WDR, he even posted a video demonstrating the process. The corporation stated that its staff is tirelessly checking all data to ensure that the Vulcan is certified and ready for takeoff, and they have tweeted official confirmation of the launch time, as well as upcoming timetables. This upcoming flight is especially crucial for ULA as it carries an inert payload, a key step toward obtaining the necessary launch certification to transport military and government missions under the National Security Space Launch Phase 2 contract. The success of Vulcan is critical to ULA's future, especially as the corporation retires older models such as Atlas and Delta, which have long served as the foundation of its operations. However, Vulcan has had significant delays, resulting in a backlog of vital missions such as USS F-106 and USS F-87, 
both scheduled for 2024. This raises questions about ULA's ability to meet its commitments, particularly following a scheduling clash earlier this year with Sierra Space's Dream Chaser, which was originally scheduled for April, but has since been pushed back to October. This rescheduling has resulted in sanctions from the Pentagon, compromising ULA's position in government launch plans. The stakes for United Launch Alliance could not be higher, with over 20 missions scheduled for the National Security Space Launch Phase 2 contract in the future years, the company's capacity to meet these obligations is jeopardized, generating major concerns about its market position. ULA, once the unchallenged leader, now finds itself in the rearview mirror of SpaceX, whose agile fleet of rockets has shown better capable of addressing the industry's growing demands. Initially, ULA commanded 60% of Phase 2 launches, with SpaceX holding 40%. However, after a series of delays and an increase in missions, the ratio has switched to 54% for ULA and 46% for SpaceX, with the latter fast closing the gap. As Phase 3 of the NSSL contract progresses, ULA remains the selected contractor, but competition is heating up, not just from SpaceX, but also from rising star Blue Origin. If ULA continues to suffer issues, SpaceX may easily outperform it in mission completion rates, thus cementing its advantage in the space launch market. Financial issues have exacerbated ULA's internal struggles, fueling suspicions of a possible sale. According to recent reports, Sierra Space may be a potential buyer, which could jeopardize Vulcan's future if ULA is acquired. With so much relying on the success of the impending trip, ULA simply cannot afford to fail. This launch could either pave the way for renewed success or signal the decline of ULA's dominance in the space launch industry. All eyes will be on Vulcan as ULA seeks to demonstrate its capabilities and remain competitive in a fast moving sector. Let's see if ULA can rise to the challenge and cement its place in the future of space exploration. Excitement is mounting for the Falcon 9 mission, which is scheduled to launch on October 7th. The European Space Agency has recently revealed that their HERA spacecraft, together with two CubeSats, will shortly be nestled under the Falcon 9's protective fairings. With the spacecraft already fueled and ready to go, it's about to embark on an important journey. What is its major mission? To explore the impact crater left by NASA's DART mission, which famously collided with the asteroid Didymos in 2022. This momentous impact altered Didymos' orbit around its larger partner, providing important insights on how we can protect Earth from future asteroid dangers. If all goes as planned, HERA will arrive at the asteroid in 2026, commencing on a six-month mission to examine the crater and collect important data. The road to this launch, however, has been everything but easy. HERA's development encountered roadblocks, ranging from strategic decisions at ESA to investment issues and pandemic-related delays. Initially, ESA planned to launch with the Soyuz rocket, but later switched to Ariane 6. However, due to Ariane 6 delays, they ultimately chose SpaceX's Falcon 9 back in 2022. This change shows a growing preference for SpaceX over European competitors. However, the launch date is now questionable with recent setbacks in SpaceX operations, including an FAA-requested crash inquiry putting doubt on Falcon 9's comeback. These fascinating new updates points to the fact that we might be expecting frequent missions to space that could revolutionize the entire space race and push human intelligence to newer realms. What is your take on it? Do you think the delay by FAA will happen? Do let us know in the comments below. Make sure to like our video and subscribe to the channel for more updates.